Hello students, once again I welcome you all in my new video for class 9th and in my previous video we have completed the basic introduction of fundamental unit of life cell and variety in cell shape, cell size and the types of cell like unicellular, multicellular, prokaryotes and eukaryotes and the discovery of cell along with microscope. So based on these topics few questions were given as an assignment in the previous video and I hope you all have done that. If not I will provide you the answers of that questions in today's video. So let's start today's topic. Today we are going to see the basic structure of a cell. Students from your previous class knowledge you know a typical cell contains three basic features the first one is what the outer covering of a cell that is known as cell membrane a central controlling center inside the cell which controls all the activity of cell that is known as nucleus and the fluid part of a cell which helps in the transportation of substances through the cell membrane and this fluid part is known as cytoplasm. So here you can see two different types of cell, plant cell and animal cell and I have made here only these three basic features like cell membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm but the basic difference in plant and animal cell is this that in plant cell one more additional covering is present around the cell membrane that is known as cell wall and it is made up of cellulose. So here one by one we will see all these basic structures of a cell and we will uh, get to know what are their specifications. So starting from the cell membrane. A variety of theories and models were proposed by scientists to explain the structure of cell membrane but the most accepted model is fluid mosaic model which is given by two scientists Singer and Nicholson in 1972. According to this model they explained that uh, the cell membrane is made up of bilayer of phospholipids and proteins and these proteins and lipids are present in the mosaic like arrangement where you can see by means 2 and uh, lipids are any natural complex substances like oil which uh, do not dissolve in water. So here you can see two layer of lipids in which the outer surface is known as what hydrophilic head and the inner side where you can see two single lines are representing the region hydrophobic tail. Hydrophobic means you know the phobia means fear means they do not like to come in contact with water but you know that the water is going to transport throughout the cell membrane so the head region is what hydrophilic hydrophilic means uh, bond with the water so in between these two lipid layers some proteins molecules are also embedded or scattered these protein molecules may be present only of any surface like internal or external surface or it may be present throughout the both layer. So if the protein molecules are present throughout the both layers of lipid they are known as intrinsic proteins and if the proteins are present only either on the external surface or on the internal surface such type of proteins are known as extrinsic proteins. So these protein molecules are going to help in the transport or transfer of substances throughout the cell membrane and uh, this is the most accepted theory or the model for cell membrane. So we will see in the next topic what are the basic functions that are performed by cell membrane. So from your previous classes you know cell membrane is selectively permeable. Selectively permeable means the cell membrane is having a knowledge which substance can 
enter inside the cell and which substance is a waste and we the cell must have to remove it so not all of the substances can transfer inside and outside whatever substances are necessary only that substances can enter through the cell membrane and that's why it is written here selectively permeable cell membrane also gives a definite shape to cell in animal cell only not in plant cell because you know in plant cell one additional covering is there and that is what cell wall that is very tough rigid and hard structure so in animal cell this uh, cell membrane is also giving a definite shape then cell membrane also provides protection to the internal environment internal structures whether cell organelles or nucleus all these things all these substances from the external one and uh, it uh, helps to protect them from any damage from the external environment so moving to the next topic that is movement of substances through plasma membrane or cell membrane you know students a cell performs various activities or uh, functions so the plasma membrane plays an important role and acts as a physical barrier between the external and internal environment of cell and uh, regulates the entry of substances in or out of the cell by following these three methods that are passive transport active transport and bulk transport so first of all we are going to see the first method of transport of substances that is known as passive transport so you know passive means not active so in this method substances move in or out of the cell without involvement of energy and uh, this transport of substances may be by following two methods the first one is known as diffusion and the other one is known as osmosis students you are having a knowledge of diffusion process from your previous class so diffusion is the transfer or movement of substances from higher concentration towards the lower concentration and you have uh, read about this like uh, in respiration process when we are going to inhale fresh air inside our lungs so in the alveoli the concentration of oxygen will be greater but the blood capillaries present in alveoli in that blood capillaries the concentration of oxygen will be least so from alveoli itself the oxygen gas moves inside the blood capillaries without involvement of energy so such type of movement of substances either solid liquid or gas from higher concentration towards the lower concentration is known as diffusion process so the next method is osmosis osmosis is the transfer of only water molecules here in diffusion the substances may be solid liquid or gas but when we are going to consider about osmosis process it is uh, selectively denoted about the water so when the water molecules move from higher concentration towards the lower concentration such type of movement of water molecules is known as osmosis so based on the movement of water inside or outside of the cell osmosis may be of two type end osmosis or ex osmosis in end osmosis the cell is going to absorb water from the external environment and in ex osmosis cells are going to release water from inside towards the outside so whenever any cell is placed in a solution the based on the amount of solute the solution may be hypotonic isotonic or hypertonic what is hypotonic solution hypotonic solution in which the surrounding water is having less amount of solute so the water concentration will be much higher in the surrounding water and the concentration of water will be less in the cell so during this condition if any cell is placed in hypotonic solution 
the cell is going to absorb water through the post process of end osmosis and the cell is going to swell what is isotonic solution in isotonic solution the amount of solute and the water will be equal inside the cell and outside the cell so when the concentration of water molecules are equal in both the environment both the sides no movement of water molecules will occur and the cell will remain its regular shape the last one is what hypertonic hyper means excess it means the solution in which the cell is placed it is having the more concentration of solute means the water concentration is less outside the cell but the water concentration is more inside the cell so whenever any cell is placed inside a hypertonic solution the cell is going to lose water through the process of ex osmosis and during this condition the cell is going to shrink so this was what passive transport by diffusion or osmosis method so that was all for today we will discuss about active transport and bulk transport in a later video and we will see the rest of the topics in this chapter so i hope you have understood all these points so at the end of the video i will provide you the related assignment till then we will meet in the next video take care of yourself and be safe